A few months ago, I took up bread making. And there are probably more exciting hobbies, but I wasn't really looking for an exciting hobby. Life has felt chaotic and confusing for a while now. Not to mention bread making has a pretty low price of entry. Flour, water, just a little bit of salt and yeast, humble ingredients. And along the way, bread making has taught me a few things. Like, there's this one part in the process, after you've added all the ingredients and you've mixed it all together, that you just wait. You let the dough settle and relax, and it slowly spreads out and fills all the crevices of whatever container it's in. And the moment that happens, you reach in and you fold it all in on itself. You stir it all up and turn it over, and then you wait some more. You wait until it relaxes and spreads out and fills the container again, and then you reach in and you fold it all in on itself again. And you do this process a few different times. And that step is what gives the bread its structure. It's what gives it the strength to stand up to all the processes that are still to come. Next, the dough just sits. Nothing else. You don't look at it. You don't touch it. You don't breathe on it. And if you watched it, it would look like nothing is happening. But the dough is fermenting. It's taking those simple ingredients that you put in, and it's actually making some new ones. And this process is what gives the bread its rise, but even more importantly, it's what makes it delicious. And then finally, after a few more steps, you put the finished loaf into the oven with the heat turned all the way up, and you bake it until it's perfect. And you end up with bread. And it feels like both the most natural thing in the world and a little bit like magic. Because what began as very humble ingredients has suddenly become so much more than just the sum of its parts. And you can probably see where I'm going with this. For a while now, it has felt like God has just kept reaching into my life and stirring things up. And the moment that it feels like I've started to get a handle on those changes, like I have relaxed into them, it feels like he reaches back in and stirs it all up again. And at other times, it feels like I have just been left to wait. It feels like God has just abandoned me. And then other times, I have felt that intense heat the rise of the pressure and the panic, and it feels like more than I can possibly handle. How about you? Maybe today, it feels like everything is getting stirred up. Maybe you had just started to feel like you had a handle on everything, and now everything changed, the whole world changed. Will you trust that even in that disorientation, God is doing the work to strengthen you, to prepare you for everything that's yet to come. Or maybe today you feel abandoned. It feels like God has walked out the door. You haven't seen him. You haven't heard from him. Will you trust that in that loneliness, in the waiting, God is doing the work to transform your ordinary ingredients into so much more than the sum of your parts. Or maybe today, it feels like the heat has been turned all the way up. And it feels like more than you can possibly handle. Will you trust that God is doing the work to perfect something in you? Because in the end, He intends to make us more than simply the sum of our parts. He plans to strengthen us, change us, and perfect us. If you're feeling disoriented or abandoned, or like the heat has been turned all the way up, will you take a few moments right now to bring those worries to the one who is always at work in us? Bring it all to God.